Thank you for attending today's webinar. The other application is uh, more simple. This is the soundproof wall which we can easily see on the road. In this example, we would like to generate this soundproof wall. Modeling, analysis, and design process will be demonstrated. For the loading, we are going to define the cell fate of this structure and also the snow load will be simulated. So let's try to make this structure. So making such structure is very simple in civil. Let me open my uh, start model. So in this model, uh, I have defined the properties in advance, like the material section and the thickness. The definition of material section is exactly the same as we checked previously. So I will skip this part and let's directly make the sound proof wall. For this, I want to make the structure firstly for this part using the frame wizard and then copy it and we are going to make this arch and also the middle column. So we are, I'm going to use the basic structure and the frame wizard. From this I can make the X and Z direction frame. For this frame, I do not want to have the bottom element, so I can select some of the element, highlight it here, and I can delete them. We can specify desired material and uh, section, and OK. So this frame has been automatically generated. I want to specify the different section property for the beams. So I can use this filter, extraction filter, and select only extraction members, assign the beam section property. And for this column, I want to rotate 90 degree. How to do that? We can go this change parameters. And this time I want to select the columns and it will be rotated 90 degree. If I make it zoom and apply, you can see the columns has been rotated. Using this, we want to have the plate element as shown this part. For the plate element, we can use the extrude function. So select the desired element. And from the line to planner, 
you can specify their thickness and the material property as well and then apply so plate element has been generated similarly for this top part it has been generated after having this we want to have the other side of the wall which is this part so we are going to copy it to the y direction so select all the element and then we are going to copy it with the desired position I want to specify this about 20 meter so words were copied also I want to copy the node in the middle to make the inner column so I want to copy this node and specify the desired position and apply so only the nodes were copied using this I can make the column with the extrude it will have the height as the 7.6 meter so column has been generated like this now we want to have the loop for the loop we need to have the arch at the top so we are going to make the curved element with the desired section property and generating it is very simple we can specify the desired position and they will be generated we are going to copy this element to the other side so we can copy them into 2 meter with the 5 times and we also need to have the this transverse direction beams just like this beams so we can use extrude function again and select the desired nodes it will have the loop horizontal section property and five times again finally we want to have the plate in the loop just like this top part so it's same we can use the extrude function from line to planner So plate has been generated so uh, main structure has been completed uh, I want to add the additional middle beam in this part creating beam is also very simple program will give you the snap in the middle or based on this value if you make it 3 in the every third point it will give you snap so if I want to make the element in the middle of this beam I can simply click that position 
specify the desired section property and then click to point then the connectivity will be automatically considered so structure has been generated now we are going to make the boundary condition and loading for the boundary condition we want to restrain all the movement in the bottom nodes so go to the support and we will restrain all the movement for the loading as mentioned we are going to specify the self-weight and the snow loading as shown here for the self-weight it's same just minus one will be defined for the snow load we are going to use this pressure load for this top loop specify the load case and it will be applied to the global z direction with the value minus 2 so this uniform pressure load has been applied before performing analysis we want to have the load combination one is for the strength, the other one is for the serviceability verification. We are going to perform analysis and check the results. So checking the results are very similar, starting from the reactions. We can verify the reaction of the structure. Maximum reaction can be viewed with this red color and the deformation. With the maximum value, the deformation occurs the most. Even this deformation can be checked with the contour. and the forces we want to check the beam forces like the axial diagram or the moment and the shear force and finally for the member checking we can perform the steel codes checking again so we can verify the similar results for this steel member for the soundproof wall in the graphical report and the detailed report and similarly axial shear combined and bending effects including the buckling effect will be verified also the not only the ultimate limit state but also the service limit state deflection checking will also be there program can calculate the exact value for the deformation and it will be verified with the deflection limit value and then program will compare whether this will be safe or not for the deflection this example was for the soundproof wall 